Hey friends, it's Mary Beth from Mary Berry Studio and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be planning for the month of February in our bullet journals. If you want to follow along this year in my bullet journal and get tons of inspiration for your own bullet journal, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. So for this month, I went with quite the opposite of February's usual weather. Over here in the East Coast the United States, it has finally gotten a little bit chilly, but every now and then we get a day that's like 50 degrees and it really tricks you into thinking, oh, winter must already be over. Spring is coming. But then it'll be like two degrees the next day and it's all a lie. <laughs> So because I am eagerly awaiting for spring, I wanted to go with greens, yellows, and photos of lush greenery and a little bit of cottagecore for this month's theme. The photos I'm using today are from Unsplash. The link to all my photos you're gonna be seeing today will be in the description box free for you to use. The stickers that I'm gonna be using today are from my recent shop update. I have two brand new stickers. The one you're seeing now is the Cottage Farm sticker sheet, which is my personal favorite. And then I made a little companion sheet that matches it, which is called the Rainbow Flower sticker sheet. Technically it's not really rainbows, but it's like deep golds, reds, and blues, but it just it just needed a name. <laughs> If you're interested in these sticker sheets or sticker sheets in general for your planner or whatever it may be, the link to my stationery shop will be in the description box as well. For washi tape, I'm going to be using my own mushroom washi tape that I made, white floral washi tape, and I ended up not using the sunflower tape. I ended up using my trusty white and black grid tape that you're gonna see in just a little bit. All right, so let's get started in setting up this monthly spread. The first thing I like to do when starting a spread is to lay out the photos and figure out where I want them to go. When I'm doing this, I'm simultaneously thinking about what gaps in the page laying the photos will create because this is where I'm gonna be writing in specific things about the month. I also got a lot of comments on what size photos I like to use. And this is a great question because you don't wanna have super big photos and you don't want it to cover up all your writing space unless you are looking for more of a collage type cover page. But in general, I aim for 3.5 inches in length, or in other words, up and down, and then about 2.5 inches in width, so left to right. This does depend on the kind of photo I'm using, but more of my photos are longer in length rather than in width. And another note is that my bullet journal, my moleskin, is a little bit slimmer than the average A5 notebook, so you might have to make these dimensions a little bit bigger to fit your notebook. I'm also using what's called Crafters Adhesive Tape. It is basically a dispenser of thin double-sided tape, and it just makes taping things a lot easier, especially for bullet journaling and crafting. After laying down the photos, I framed some of them with some washi tape and then I put down some of the Starburst stickers from my sticker sheet in the open space in the top right corner of the page. This is where I'm going to be writing in February as well as writing in a mini calendar so I know what day of the week each day is when I make my billet, ugh, bigger calendar on the right side of the page. I ended up writing February a bit too far to the right, which was preventing me from adding that second starburst in the title. I was basically just trying to get some symmetry with my stickers, but I also realized that this would have made my calendar a bit off-centered, so I just clipped a blank piece of paper from the back of my notebook and aligned it over top February so that I could rewrite February a little bit closer this time. And doing this little kind of band-aid technique is really easy and an effective way to cover up any mistakes that you might make in a spread. Of course, you definitely don't have to do this though. Sometimes going along with what you think a mistake can actually make your bullet journal that much more personal. Plus, no one is perfect and your journal is normally for your eyes only, so it's up to you on whether you wanna cover up anything or not. After that, I'm going to be taking you to a snazzy close-up shot of me making the calendar that is going to be going in this little spot. Now there's really nothing too fancy about this, just remember that February has 28 days, not 30 or 31. That's really easy to make a mistake with. I also like to choose a pen that doesn't smudge that easy because for some reason making calendars is just really easy to smudge. I guess because you're just moving your hand really quickly from left to right, so be careful with that. My pen of choice for making calendars is always the Pigma Microns just because they dry really, really fast and it's hard to smudge them. Underneath my calendar, I wrote a short month, because it is, and then on top, I just put one of the rainbow flower stickers at the very top to make it look super cute. 
<laughs> and then I added another one in the corner of one of my photos. I really like putting stickers in the corner of photos. I mainly, I really like framing things in my bullet journal. If you think of it that way, like you're decorating things by framing them, it just seems like your doodles and things you place in your bullet journal seem a little bit more purposeful, I suppose. <laughs> so take that with what you will. Next, in this bottom left-hand corner of the page, I'm going to be making my important date section of my monthly spread. I realize it's kind of hard to see what I'm writing here, and I should have done my snazzy close-up shot here, but that's something I learned and I can do for next time. So for now, I'll tell you what I'm writing. It was kind of hard to think of what was going to be important this month because I'm about to start my second semester of nursing school, and it's been kind of... Well, I've been kind of hardcore avoiding looking at my syllabuses because they just make me feel so overwhelmed, but now that it's almost February, I am being forced to look at them. What I did know is that I need to be getting my booster shot for the COVID vaccine as well as my final booster for another vaccine that I lost immunity to. It's also going to be Valentine's Day this month. I'm not sure what Jacob and I are going to be doing yet, but I think we will be having a really nice sushi dinner. I also need to be working on my 2020 taxes because I don't want to be doing them later on when they're actually due because I have a feeling that the semester is going to be rapidly picking up then, so I want to get all the math that I need to be doing for taxes out of the way when things are a little bit more calm in February. So after adding some pizzazz to the pages with stickers, washi tape, and some more color, I moved on to writing in what is going to be on the right side of the page, and that is going to be my long calendar page. It's actually more like a calendar list because I don't really like to do those gigantic calendars, simply because I find that big calendars are just a bit too time consuming to make. So instead, I write out each day of the month on a line, and I write whatever task is my priority for that day on that line. Please keep in mind that this format doesn't give you a lot of space if you have multiple urgent priorities in a day, but it's really nice if you want to make a quick calendar spread that briefly lets you know what's important in that day. This was probably the fastest calendar I've ever made since February doesn't have that many days, which is actually kind of nice because it gave me more space on the page for other planning. So in the empty space, I made a February goal section and the goals that I have for February are to have a March plan with me. And I really want to create a Discord server for my patrons, but I don't know a lot about Discord and I tried starting it and I found it to be kind of hard to set up, so we'll see how that goes. I also want to finish my taxes, like I said earlier, and I really want to make a healthy schedule between my school life, my small business, and my personal life and self-care, because I tend to neglect that very frequently. Another goal that I have is to reach 200 followers on TikTok because I just started my account a few days ago, but by the time of me making this voiceover, I already reached that goal, which is really exciting. And I'm now hoping to reach 1,000 followers so that I can unlock the live stream feature because I think it'll be really fun to use. So if you have a TikTok account and you like my content, I would love to you to check out my account, which is at Maryberry Studio, just like all my other social media handles. And then my last few goals are to do strength exercises three times a week, but being realistic, I'd be happy if I even just did one day a week. I find that a little bit of exercise really helps stretch out my knees and prevents this back pain I always seem to get. And then my final goal is to schedule out Patreon content for the month of February. After writing out my goals, I went in with my green Tombow dual brush pen. By the way, I'll be linking all the colors that I use in the description box in case you're curious, but I'm using my green one to fill in some of the spaces with some sparkles and also to underline the goal section. And just like that, my monthly spread is done! I still have some empty space in my important date section, but I'll be able to fill it out pretty quickly once I actually look at my syllabuses for my classes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little plan with me and that it allowed you to relax a little during your busy days. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment letting me know your goals for February. Also, if you liked any of the stickers I used today, the link to my stationery shop will be in the description box below. I hope that your February is exactly how you hope it will be, and please don't forget that taking breaks and resting is still considered being productive because everyone needs to take breaks. Thank you again for watching this video, and I hope Hope that you'll join me for my March plan with me next month. Alright, bye!